Japan's economy has stagnated over the past few decades. They were once known as the second economic powerhouse globally, just behind the United States. In fact, there was even a time when Japan was about to surpass the US. Being an economic powerhouse is crucial as it always defines a country's military prowess. Despite being a pacifist, Japan had enough money to fund a strong and powerful military. But as its economy falters, it has been caught up by many major economies all the way from Western nations to recent Asian neighbors. This is making Japan one of the forgotten powerhouses and may soon lead to its collapse. But that is changing. While Japan still has no clear path towards its economic growth, it has been boosting its military budget. Back in 2022, the country had proposed to double its defense budget to around 107 billion USD, or 2% of its GDP. This proposal alone would easily make them one of the largest defense spenders globally. However, over the next two years, Japan's defense budget would rise, but not by this much. They would still continue to invest into better military equipment, stronger fighter jets, and a more formidable navy. So, just how capable is this new military that Japan is now touting? Can it still stand as a powerhouse in Asia? Or is it being far outshadowed than that of China and other major Asian economies? Well, let's understand that by talking about what their military equipment is, both that is currently deployed and that is expected to come in the future. The military, known as the Japan Self-Defense Forces or JSDF, has three service branches. The Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, and the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Each of these play a major role, ranging from land forces to the air and navy forces. Let's first talk about the Ground Self-Defense Forces. The equipment deployed by the ground forces are mainly composed of battle tanks, infantry weapons, artillery, and other land-based equipment. To sum it all up first, Global Firepower says that Japan has about 518 tanks, 37,662 vehicles, 173 self-propelled artillery, 480 towed artillery, and 54 rocket artillery. The tanks of a ground force are composed of many variants. One example of the ground forces in Japan is the Type 10 Hitomaru main battle tank. It is well known as one of the world's most advanced armored vehicles. The tank's development began in the 1990s under the project name TKX MBTX, and production started in 2010. Built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the Type 10 is designed for 21st century warfare. Another important piece of equipment is the Mitsubishi Type 89 IFV. It is a well-known infantry fighting vehicle developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Komatsu Limited. It is an IFV that entered service in 1989. Beyond the ground forces, there is also the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. These are responsible for the country's navy. According to the Global Firepower, they have over 155 total assets, four of which are helicopter carriers, 36 are destroyers, four are frigates, six are corvettes, 23 are submarines, six patrol vessels, and 23 mine warfares. Let's first start with the submarine fleet. They have the Oyashio class. These are fairly old submarines, but some still call them deadly. They are a diesel-electric patrol submarine class. Eleven were built between 1994 and 2006 by Kawasaki Shipbuilding and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. These submarines are designed for both anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare, known for being among the quietest and largest in the JMSDF. The lead submarine, Oyashio, was laid down in 1994, launched in 1996, and commissioned in 1998. The final submarine, Mokishio, was commissioned in 2008. Another submarine is the Soryu class. These were built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Kawasaki Shipbuilding Corporation and are known as an improved version of the Oyashio class. They were launched between 2008 and 2019. The Soryu class submarine has a displacement of 4,200 tons and a crew of 65. It can reach speeds of 13 knots surfaced and 20 knots submerged, with a range of 610 nautical miles. Finally, the Taigei class submarines are a series of attack submarines succeeding the Soryu class. 
The first JS Taigi was built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and commissioned in March of 2022. These submarines have a development cost of about 80 billion Japanese yen, or $690 million. Besides submarines, the Maritime Force also deploys helicopter carriers. They have two variants, the Hayuga class and the Izumu class. The carriers were built by IHI Marine United at the Yokohama shipyard. These ships are designed like light aircraft carriers. They feature a through-deck layout to operate helicopters, primarily for anti-submarine missions. The Hayuga-class ships are 197 meters long, displace 13,950 tons, and can carry up to 11 SH-60K helicopters. The other helicopter carrier, Izumu-class, is Japan's largest surface combatant. These are built by Japan Marine United Corporation and are 248 meters long, with a displacement of 27,000 tons fully loaded. It can carry 970 personnel and up to nine helicopters. Its flight deck accommodates five helicopters for simultaneous takeoff and landing, and it has space for 50 vehicles. In terms of destroyers, they have the Congo class. These are guided missile destroyers built by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and IHI Corporation. They are modified versions of the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. The Congo-class are 161 meters long, displacing 9,500 tons. Each vessel accommodates 300 crew members. In terms of frigates, they have the Mogami-class multi-role frigates. The history of this project was done back in 2015, when Japan's Ministry of Defense allocated funds for a new compact destroyer. By 2017, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was chosen as the main contractor, with Mitsui Engineering and Shipbuilding as the subcontractor. The goal is to build 22 multi-role frigates, with the first batch of eight costing around $452.7 million each. The first vessel, JS Mogami, was launched in March of 2021. Then, we also have the Japan Air Self-Defense Force. Global Firepower says that they have 1,459 aircraft in total. 217 are fighters, 36 attack types, 56 transport, 420 trainers, 195 special missions, 8 tanker fleet, 577 helicopters, and 119 attack helicopters. The most important part of an air force is their fighters. Japan's Air Force deploys several U.S.-designed aircrafts, such as the F-15 Eagle and the F-35 Lightning II. But locally produced, they have the Mitsubishi F-2, which are a close-support fighter jet developed in a joint Japan-U.S. program based on the U.S. F-16 to replace Japan's F-1. Another Air Force equipment developed locally is the Kawasaki C-2. These are transport aircrafts and are equipped with advanced technologies. The C-2 surpasses the C-1 and other JASDF transport planes in both speed and range. Its larger cargo hold allows it to carry heavier loads, enabling it to perform a wide variety of missions, including international cooperative operations. For the future of the military, the most formidable ones that are currently under development are the Mitsubishi FX. They are Japan's first new fighter aircraft in nearly 30 years. The FX expected to incorporate technology from American jets like the F-22 and F-35 is set to fly by 2028, with full production slated for the 2030s. This new aircraft will replace the aging Mitsubishi-built F-2 and integrate advanced aerospace technology from the U.S. For the Navy, they are currently undertaking a project known as the 13DDX Air Defense Destroyer. These are set to enter service in the early 2030s and will build on the designs of existing Asahi-class destroyers and Mogami-class frigates. According to Vice Admiral Shinichi Imayoshi of Japan's Ministry of Defense, the 13DDX will provide layered air defense to counter emerging global threats. And finally, in terms of missiles, Japan has recently introduced plans for a new long-range anti-ship cruise missile with interchangeable warheads to counter China's growing missile threat at sea. They have plans to develop this island defense anti-ship missile with a range of 2,000 kilometers and stealthy design. 
Japan is also investing heavily in other missile systems. In 2023, the Ministry of Defense signed contracts with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries to develop various standoff and hypersonic weapons, including upgrades to the Type 12 SSM missiles and mass production of a hypervelocity gliding projectile. So, just how strong is Japan's military? Well, as we saw, they continue to upgrade their equipment. They always have modernized equipment. However, the lack of aircraft carriers and a reliance on the United States for their equipment may pose a big threat in the future. But for now, they are still indeed a powerhouse in Asia. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.